Hi, I'm Robert, and today I'm going to show you how to take this image from here to here, all in Lightroom. I took this image back in 2014. It was my first time going to Dana Point for the 4th of July. I didn't know where to set up, even though I looked online beforehand, I couldn't really find a good spot. I showed up plenty early, so there wouldn't be anybody in my way. I didn't really know where the fireworks were going to be coming from, but I had an idea. Also, I didn't have a long lens. I was shooting with a 17 to 55 on a crop body. The best images you're going to get will probably be your first few. There'll be the least amount of smoke in the sky. I also found out that the best images are the more simple ones. If you have too many fireworks shooting off at the same time, you're just going to get a blown out image. So at the beginning of the show, when things are slow, that'll probably be your best chance to get a good image. Towards the finale, you would think it would be a nice time to shoot, but there'll be so much smoke in the sky and there'll be too many fireworks in the sky also that you'll just have a blown out, washed out mess. So show up early, do your research, and scout out your location ahead of time, and then be prepared to shoot as soon as you start seeing the fireworks. Make sure you're set up on a sturdy tripod, and if possible, use a cable release. I played around with the shutter speeds, you don't want them too long, like 15 or 20 seconds, because there'll be too many fireworks in the sky and they'll become overexposed. So try and keep your shutter speed down, maybe around 5, 6 seconds, so you can capture a full firework, but without getting multiple in the sky. You might need to use a wider aperture or increase your ISO to get those shutter speeds, since it's going to be so dark outside. So it's kind of a tough balance. To practice, see if your city is going to have any firework shows before the 4th of July. Maybe you can practice on a smaller show to get your settings down. And when 4th of July comes, you'll be ready with your settings and experience to get the best views. Let me show you how we edit this image. I'm going to start at the bottom, make sure I'm at the current version. I'm not going to apply a vignette. Let's click on Constrain Crop and rotate this image. Make sure your horizon is straight. Let's scroll up remove chromatic abrasions, and enable profile corrections. You can see I was shooting with a 17 to 55 f2.8 on my Canon 40D. Scroll up. Let's add some sharpening, but not our usual 100. We'll just go down to 80, and let's apply a mask. Hold down Alt. Scroll up. Let's sharpen everything except for this guy. Continuing up, we're going to return to this area. So for now, we'll go to our basic panel. The fireworks show didn't start until a little after blue hour, so the sky was starting to turn black. Let's try and get some blue color into the sky by lowering the color temperature a little bit. My goal of this image is to have very vibrant colors, and the easiest way to do that is to click here and choose Camera Matching Landscape. As you can see, when we hover over it, we get much more vibrant colors. So this is a good starting point. So let's select that, close. Now we have a really blown out area here in the fireworks. To recover that, let's bring the highlights all the way down. You can see how much detail we were able to recover in our firework. Since this isn't a detailed image of just a firework, but it's also a landscape, let's bring the shadows up so we can see into the landscape a little bit better. Now we still have some room to bring our exposure over. So let's slide our white point up till we clip, then back it down. To set our contrast, we'll bring our black slider down till we clip, then bring it back up. So now our exposure is looking good and we have a nice contrast to the image. Let's take a look at the settings I was using for this image. I was at ISO 200, F8, and 30 seconds. So at 30 seconds, we have too many fireworks stacked on top of each other. But this was one of my first firework shoots, so I didn't quite get the settings down the way I wanted. I learned for next year. Let's add some detail into this image. I'm going to bring up the texture. It brings out the details of the Dana Point Harbor. Now let's play with the colors. Let's go down to luminance. Luminance is how bright or how dark a color is. So we can darken up the colors we see in the firework. So let's start with red. Let's bring it down. We'll do the same with orange, yellow, purple, and magenta. Now to make them even more vibrant, we can go over to saturation and bring up the saturation on those colors we were just adjusting. So let's take a look at the before and after. Here's before, here's after. 
much more vibrant and defined lines in our firework. Now I want to adjust the sky a little bit so we can get it more blue. So let's grab a grad filter, pull it down over the sky while holding shift so we can get a straight line. But I only want to affect this blue area. And as you can see, it's affecting everywhere. So let's go to range mask, choose color. We're going to click on our eyedropper and click up here in the blue section. So now Lightroom will automatically mask off just the blue color in the sky so we can work on it separately. So press O, turn off our overlay, and let's go up to our settings. So to make it more blue, let's use our color temperature and slide it down. That's the sky color that I'm looking for. The opposing color to blue is yellow. So let's grab our grad tool. Let's grab a new grad tool, pull it up over the harbor, and we're gonna work on all of the yellow tones. Go down to range mask, choose color, grab our eyedropper and click in the yellow section. So we can press O to see where our, our overlay is. We can adjust it here. We'll bring it all the way up. So now everything in red is gonna be affected. So all of the yellow areas, we can adjust. Let's put our brush away, turn off our mask, and let's brighten up this area. First, we'll bring the exposure up. And we'll bring our saturation up. So now using the grad tool, we're able to bring in a blue color to the sky. And we're able to brighten up all of our contrasting yellow areas in the harbor. Let's turn off our grad tool. So let's take a look at where we started. Here was our before. Everything's completely washed out. We have no detail in our fireworks, our color temperature's all wrong, our horizon isn't straight, we don't really have any color in the sky, and here's our after. We got a nice blue sky, saturated colors in our fireworks, and a contrasting yellow color being highlighted in the harbor. Happy 4th of July, I hope you guys get some good images out there. If you do, please tag me on Instagram at Laguna Beach Secrets. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.